Hi guys, <clears throat> it's me, Rusty78609, inside of the White House. And the reason I'm inside doing this video is because it is so windy outside that Shaky Jake would pick up all the wind noise and I'd get a lot of feedback on that even if I tried the Band-Aid. But anyway, I wanted to give you a heads up. I pulled the trigger on the solar. Did it. I did it. I did it. I did it. I did it. And I'll tell you what I did. So you know firsthand. Rusty's decision on solar is as follows. A 160 watt ZAMP suitcase portable with controller, 750 bucks, 40 pounds, 39 inches by 20 inches by three. I think that's when it's closed up, when it's folded out, it's about the same. I mean, well, it's not the same, but anyway, it comes with everything. And there's a little, <clears throat> there's a little thing they mount that you just plug it into. You don't even have to hook it to, to the batteries. The, the, uh, it, they hook it to the batteries from this little mount thing. And uh, but anyway, I'm gonna go to, it's called Backcountry Solar in Cortez, Colorado. I'll go by there next week and uh, get that done probably mm, Tuesday. And uh, we'll, we'll be in the solar business on Tuesday, I hope, because the ice chest is a pain in the rear. And out see what the deal is. See, I've got a good campsite, and if I have to go into Cortez, which I will have to go in tomorrow to get ice, when I come back, you know, it's open season. Now, you can leave, you know, like a bottle, a gallon jug of water, or you can, I got a hair standing up, but that's, our, that's my antenna. That's my connection to the universe. But anyway, <clears throat> You can leave a gallon jug. Sometimes people respect that. Sometimes they don't. But be that as it may, if I leave uh, to go into town tomorrow, I will uh, leave the gallon jug and then come back here. But anyway, back to the solar. 160-watt ZAMP suitcase portable with controller. Uh, da, da, da. And then an AGM 110 amp hour 12-volt battery is $276. It's uh, 13 inches long, 6 inches wide, 8 inches tall, and weighs 62 pounds little heavy but they're gonna put it in here all I got to do is get it out <laughs> 62 pounds at ice chest I guarantee is not too far from that but anyway and then another thing I ordered was a refrigerator I did and I don't need the 37 quart because it occurred to me that well let's see what we've got first before we go out and order something we may not need with well, the ice chest I have right now is 20 inches long 12 inches deep and 11 inches wide okay and uh, the, the space that I use inside of there is just a, I, I don't know, not much of it because you got the ice and then I've got a tray that I put stuff in to keep it out of the water. So I lose a lot of space there. But anyway, the gross dimensions are 20 inches long by 12 inches deep by 11 inches wide. That's the ice chest. That's the Igloo something, Extreme 5, 40 quart or whatever it is. The... I ordered, I was going to get an AGM uh, refrigerator freezer. They're a little pricey. And, uh, but I thought, that, well, I looked at and I found a Dometic, which they come, there's also another name they call them, Waco or something like W-A-E-C-O. It's made in Australia, I think. And uh, uh, the AG, no, yeah, I think it's, I don't know where it's made. Uh, the, the, none of them are made in the United States, as far as I know. Uh, but anyway, it's a Dometic CF018, 18 cubic, no, not 18 cubic feet. Uh, anyway, 18, whatever that is. And uh, But anyway, it's, the Dometic is, is uh, 18 inches long, so it's 2 inches shorter than the ice chest, but it's 4 inches deeper. It's 16 inches deep. And it's one inch wider. It's 12 inches wide. So I've got more space in the small electric refrigerator than I've got in my ice chest now. Isn't that unbelievable? I mean, I just got to looking at those numbers and I thought, wow. You know, and that's all usable space. That's the interior dimensions. So uh, will it fit in here? Hell yeah. Uh, yeah, the 12 inches wide is what works and the 16 inches deep because that you know how high it comes up is perfect for the little corner that i'm going to put it in i'll show you maybe if you can look i'm going the wrong way emma no emma you see where that orange can is over here 
Well, that's where I'm going to put it, right in that spot. And it just so happens that that can's about uh, 12 inches wide or a little more. So it'll fit in that spot. I'm going to go uh, to Cartes on, uh, I don't know. I don't know when I'm going to go to Cartes, actually. Because what I'll do, I used to, uh, I was a volunteer at Hovenweep National Monument, which is 60 miles from Cartes, Colorado. A pretty drive, actually. And uh, so I may go there. Uh, it's a fee uh, place, but I, I, since I know about it, and they've got, of course, they've got restrooms, big deal. Uh, and they do have water. They have drinking water there. And uh, what else? But that's it. There's no, there's no electric or anything. Not, not, I don't need it anyway. So I may, uh, I've got to wait and pick up a, an item I ordered at Walmart that's going to be delivered to the store in Grants. I've got stuff going all over, don't I? But anyway, I've got, so I've got my toilet thing coming into uh, Grants. It's supposed to be here uh, Saturday. Uh, so if it is, well, then I'll, I'll leave uh, maybe Sunday and go on up to uh, Hovenweep and then spend a day, couple of days there and go over to uh, the Joe's or backcountry something and get that done on Tuesday. If uh, I ordered the Dometic, uh, and I'm having it shipped to backcountry uh, solar in Cortez, and it uh, I, I got the five day shipping, five business days. So I don't know if they count today. We're going to assume they do. So we'd have two. Uh, I don't know what they count. I'm hoping we have it by Tuesday anyway. But that's okay because there's plenty of camping places around uh, Cortez. There's some you know national forest stuff. It's really pretty too. It's uh, you know, you've got snow-capped mountains. You get, you know, Telluride, the ski resort is not too far. I've driven up there a few times. So there's things to do around there for me to pass the time. And if push comes to shove, the Walmart there allows people to camp, or not camp, stay overnight uh, in their parking lot. Yeah, if you ever call Walmart to uh, ask about uh, camping in there, don't use the word camping. Just ask them if you can stay overnight. Yeah. So, you know, the camping implies that you're going to be there a while, even though some people do abuse the privilege. Uh, that's the way that is. So anyway, guys, we're good to go on that. And I'm glad I did. I mean, thank you for all your input. God, I had a million ideas. And uh, they're all good. And, you know, the sticky stuff and the flexible panels and, you know, wired it to the alternator and all that stuff. And that deal about the alternator where you do the isolator, uh, if it turns out that this is not enough wattage or amps to run the refrigerator and what I want to do uh, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, then you know, I'll take a hard look at that isolator to uh, give me a little charge as I'm driving down the highway. But anyway, so far so good. And, uh, you know, I'm just going to go in debt and that's the way that is. <laughs> I'm going to put this on a credit card. Oh, hell. You know. Well, I'll pay it off quick. I'll pay it off quickly. No big deal. No te calientes, plancha. But anyway, guys, heads, just giving you a heads up on the solar thing again. Uh, you viewers that left all those great, uh, helpful comments, I appreciate it. I, there was even a couple of people that used the ZAMP uh, suitcase and were very satisfied with it. Uh, you know, ZAMP is not, <clears throat> they don't sell their products through Amazon or uh, uh, Walmart. They don't. Uh, now you said you might find them there, but it's not coming from Zamp. It's not, may not even be a Zamp product. You know, it might be a knockoff made in China, because I talked to the people at Zamp, and uh, so they recommended a dealer in uh, Colorado. Because I said, you know, I'm here. You know, pick somebody within three or four hundred miles doesn't bother me. And uh, but anyway, they like this guy in. Uh, uh, Cortez, Colorado. So I'm going to use him. If you ever, if you're in that area and you need solar, uh, if you're near uh, uh, Cortez, Colorado, the the guy's name, the owner, I'm sure, is named Joe, and it's Backcountry Solar, and his number is nine seven zero eight eight two eight zero four six. Or you can uh, go to their web page, uh, Backcountry Solar uh, in Cortez, Colorado and see what they've got. Might be something you can use. But they, he stays pretty busy. And he's really friendly, really nice guy. Uh, you know, typical businessman. You know, he's to the point, which is good. 
But having said that, guys, the adventure continues. I'm here at the Malpais, Malpais, Malpais uh, place, Bureau, Bureau Land Management, and it's a good spot I've got right here. I like my spot. Of course, you know, it's windy, and that limits the uh, outdoor uh, videos, uh, but, you know, that's the way it is. And also, the signal sucks sometimes. I mean, even though you get like one or two bars whenever you start to upload a video, it really crawls. I mean, it really crawls. You know, sometimes it takes uh, three, four hours. So, you know, whenever, if, if all of a sudden, you know, you get four videos in a day, uh, that's not me. <laughs> I mean, what it is is I start the upload, and uh, it's up to Verizon and YouTube when it appears. You know, and, and uh, you know, sometimes they all come out together, and sometimes they don't. But it doesn't matter to me. It doesn't bother me a bit. I mean, I just do videos when I get the urge. And uh, that's the way that is. So anyway, uh, what else can I tell you? Uh, I don't know. I like this. I really do. I, I'm getting into. I've been into it for ten or eleven, twelve days, whatever it's been now. And um, you know, the bed's fine. I bought that little comforter in Socorro, and uh, it's been a help because uh, I don't have to worry about that. Oh man, that uh, what do you call it? Sleeping bag. Uh, I, I never did like that thing, and so I don't use it, and it may go the way the trash cans go, uh, because, it, well, if I get, I, I'm going to hang on to it till it uh, warms up a little bit. I mean, when I say warms up, the, the lows start to move up a little bit. I'm not too concerned about the highs, uh, but, uh, so I'll be able to run my fan anytime I want to. I've been running the fan off, and I mean, I'm still on the original batteries, and I've used it probably... Oh, I don't know. I'm going to guess six hours or more. Uh, so the, the batteries are holding up pretty good. And the little, uh, it's called an O2 cool uh, fan. Let's see if I can get it here. If I can find it. Yeah. Everything's so convenient. You know, and it's not like you have to walk into the, another room. <laughs> oh, it's in the it's in the den. Oh, here it is. <laughs> but anyway, this is what it is. It's, uh, see it right here? You can read that. It's O2 cool. It's a 10 inch and the batteries are stored in the back on, in those legs and it takes uh, six D cell batteries. But for those of you that want an uh, all electric fan that doesn't use any uh, solar or anything, that works okay. How long those batteries last? They say they'll last 10 hours. It looks like they might. And I know I look like crap, but that's where that is. And that, well, that's what happens when you're boondocking. And that's another thing I may not have mentioned, it, but I'll mention it now. I, I may, I'd hate to repeat myself too many times, but uh, you know, spending a little money on the solar does what? Uh, number one, it gives me some convenience. Hallelujah. Wagging that damn ice chest is a pain and getting ice. I mean, you know, uh, you know, I, you, know not, you can't, I'm not going to try to cost justify it, but convenience justify it, I can. Uh, and as far as uh, giving you some flexibility, it's a catch-22. It gives you the flexibility to stay out boondocking longer but you have the panels that you have to set up and manipulate to get maximum exposure to the sunlight but hell I, that'd be entertainment for me to watch those little gauges because i don't have anything else to do. i mean i can sit there and say oh 12 volts oh boy 12.6 12.8 you know what i mean that'll give me that'd be like entertain be like watching a movie you know what i mean so so hallelujah guys yeah, you just, you know, it takes me a while. You know, once I start gathering information, though, I'm, I'm headed. You know, there's no, I, I don't get deterred. You know, I get, uh, I don't get detoured. You know, if I'm focused on a target. Now, I may do like sometimes like I did with this camper top. Say, oh, no, I'm not going to do that. No, no, no. And then the feathers are hanging out of my mouth eating a crow sandwich. You know, and some people recommended solar at the beginning of this operation. Oh, no, I don't need solar shit. I got a ice chest. I don't want to fool with that. You can't cost justify solar, and you can't. Uh, but, you know, out here in the real world, would it be nice to just reach over there and get a toddy out of the cooler instead of having to walk outside and worry about leaving the ice chest open 30 seconds too long because the ice all melts? Or you have to reach your hand in frozen water to get it? No, no, no. Coming soon luxury the white house is remodeling or adding on but anyway so far so good guys and that's all i wanted to say and i did another video this morning walking and, I, and it may come up uh, at the same time as this one i don't know but having said that thumbs up from elma Mop.
Pais. BLM in New Mexico campground is named Joe Skeen, and it's okay. There's about, I don't know, 12 campsites in here. Pretty, They're okay. There's no hookups at all. It's plain boondocking. You do have a little shade, and a little, there's a, you can see it. There's a little table there and shade and stuff. And so it's nice. And the way I've got my truck parked right here, and that's why it's always good to know where the sun sets, that shade underneath that cover moves right over my camper about 3 p.m. in the afternoon. How about that for planning, guys? So that's why I hate to lose this campsite. And I may not, but I'll go, I have to go into uh, uh, Grant's tomorrow and go to Walmart and get ice and water and maybe a few other things. I think I've got enough food for several days, but we'll see. Make my, you know, I sit here and make my list before I go, and then I run off and leave the list. Have you ever done that? No. Okay, so anyway, thumbs up, Carpe Diem, adios, bye, 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 USA made when you can. Drink plenty of water. Three quarts a day won't hurt you. You may pee like a racehorse or two or three packers possum. Take deep breaths. Breathe in through your little beak, your nose, and hold it and then let it out because that will relieve stress. Lowers your blood pressure and your heart rate lowers. So that's good for you. So And then stretch, walk, keep your health. I took a good walk this morning, probably a couple of hours, but a leisurely walk. I mean, it wasn't a strenuous deal. I just kind of leisurely walked around and I did a video while I was out there. So uh, anyway, just giving you a heads up about the solar guy. The, the trail on that is uh, pretty much ended. I get it installed next week, early next week, I hope. Adios, guys.